strolling through a dreamy white landscape, fluffy clouds stretching as far as the eye can see. Is this heaven? A marshmallow factory explosion? Nope, it's a cotton field at harvest time. And let me tell you, it's just as magical and much less sticky. Now you might think cotton just poofs into existence, landing on your back as a t-shirt or wrapping you up as a soft towel after a hot shower. But no, my friend, there's a whole world of drama, hard work, and mind-blowing machinery behind those fluffy bowls. Yes, drama. Because nothing screams suspense like a 25,000-pound cotton picker zooming across a field like it's auditioning for Fast and Furious Farm Edition. So buckle up, or maybe tie that cotton robe a little tighter, because we're about to dive into the surprising, hilarious, and downright impressive story of how American farmers harvest a whopping 3.6 million tons of cotton, and what happens after all that fluff leaves the field. Cotton plants are like the superstars of the agricultural world. They grow their own outfits. These shrubs produce fluffy white balls of fiber that not only look soft and cuddly, but also make everything from your favorite jeans to that shirt you've been wearing since college. Native to warm regions, cotton thrives in sunny fields, soaking up the heat like it's on a permanent vacation. With roots that dig deep into the soil and leaves that fan out like tiny umbrellas, the cotton plant is as hardworking as it is stylish. Farmers plant cotton seeds in spring, spacing them out like disciplined little soldiers. Over the next six months, the plants grow into knee-high bushes, their leaves soaking in sunlight like mini solar panels. With regular irrigation, fertilization, and pest control, pest control, the plants mature and begin to produce their prized fluffy bowls. fields start to look like they've been dusted with snow, it's harvest time. In its early days, the cotton industry was a game changer, albeit one built on hard labor and rudimentary tools. Long before mechanical harvesters roared across fields, cotton was painstakingly picked by hand, often by enslaved workers in the southern United States. The invention of the cotton gin by Eli Whitney in 1793 marked a pivotal moment turning cotton into a profitable crop almost overnight. Globally, the demand for cotton skyrocketed during the Industrial Revolution, with textile mills in Britain and beyond spinning the fibers into fabric, cementing cotton's role as the lifeblood of the early modern economy. From humble, labor-intensive beginnings, the cotton industry laid the foundation for industrialization and global trade, proving that even the fluffiest of plants can shape history. Harvesting cotton in the United States isn't just a farming activity. It's a spectacle of modern technology, skill, and logistical coordination. With millions of acres of cotton fields spread across states like Texas, Georgia, and Mississippi, farmers rely on both manual labor and cutting-edge machinery to get the job done. Before mechanical harvesters became the norm, cotton was harvested entirely by hand a painstaking process that required workers to pluck each bowl individually. Even today, some small-scale or specialty cotton farms use manual harvesting methods. Why? Because hand-picking ensures minimal damage to the fibers, producing higher quality cotton. Imagine walking through acres of fields under the hot sun, filling sack after sack with fluffy bowls. It's back-breaking work, but the precision is unmatched. Hand-picked cotton is cleaner, with fewer leaves and stems mixed in, which means less cleaning during processing. While it's not common in the U.S. anymore, manual harvesting remains a critical method in many parts of the world. For large-scale cotton farms, mechanical harvesters are the heroes of the day. These machines are like the transformers of agriculture. Powerful, efficient, and a little intimidating, in the U.S., farmers primarily use two types of harvesters, cotton pickers and cotton strippers. Cotton pickers. These machines are designed to be gentle yet efficient, like a farmer's version of a robotic masseuse. They use rotating spindles to carefully pluck the cotton fibers from the plant without disturbing the rest of the bush. 
Cotton pickers are ideal for fields where plants are uniformly spaced and bowls are ripe. The result? Cleaner cotton and less debris to deal with later. Cotton strippers. For fields with uneven plant heights or late season harvesting, cotton strippers take over. These machines are less selective, pulling in not just the cotton bowls but also leaves, stems, and other plant material. The cotton is cleaned later during processing, but this method is faster and more efficient for fields that need a quick sweep before the season ends. The adoption of modern machinery in cotton harvesting has revolutionized the industry, offering efficiency, cost savings, and improved quality. Machines like cotton pickers and strippers significantly reduce the time and labor required to harvest large fields, allowing farmers to manage thousands of acres quickly and effectively. This speed is especially crucial during peak harvest seasons, when delays could lead to crop damage from weather changes. Additionally, High-tech harvesters are designed to minimize cotton waste and ensure cleaner bowls, reducing the need for extensive processing later. Advanced features, such as GPS and precision farming technology, enable farmers to optimize harvesting patterns, saving fuel and lowering overall costs. Beyond efficiency, the use of machinery also addresses labor shortages, a common challenge in agriculture. Moreover, modern equipment reduces physical strain on workers, making cotton farming more sustainable and scalable for the future. Once the cotton is harvested, it's compressed into giant bales weighing about 500 pounds each. These bales are wrapped in weather-resistant coverings and tagged with unique identifiers. This step is crucial for tracking the cotton's journey from the farm to the gin. Imagine a giant marshmallow being tagged and shipped. That's basically what these bales look like. The bales are then transported to nearby cotton gins, where the next phase of the cotton's transformation begins. Cotton gin is where the real magic happens. This ingenious machine, invented by Eli Whitney in 1793, revolutionized the cotton industry by automating the tedious process of separating fibers from seeds. Modern cotton gins are technological marvels, capable of processing thousands of pounds of cotton per hour. When the cotton bales arrive at the gin, they're unwrapped and fed into the gin's machinery. The cotton is fluffed and loosened to prepare it for the separation process. This step removes large clumps and ensures that the fibers are evenly spread for efficient processing. The ginning process involves separating the cotton fibers, known as lint, from the seeds and other debris. High-speed rollers or saw blades gently tease the fibers away, leaving the seeds intact. These seeds are collected for further use, often being pressed into cottonseed oil or sold as feed for livestock. The lint, now free of seeds, is cleaned further to remove any remaining dirt, stems, or leaves. This cleaning ensures that the cotton is as pure and soft as possible before moving on to the next stage. Once cleaned, the cotton lint is compressed into dense bales weighing about 480 pounds each. These bales are wrapped, labeled, and shipped to textile mills, where they'll be spun into thread and woven into fabric. Each bale is tracked to ensure quality control and traceability, making sure the cotton's journey is as smooth as its fibers. Textile mill, the cotton fibers are carded, which means they're brushed into long, thin strands. These strands are then spun into thread using high-speed spinning machines. The thread can be dyed, woven, or knitted into fabrics for clothing, home goods, and even industrial uses. The transformation from fluffy field fibers to finished fabric is nothing short of extraordinary. Starting as fluffy bowls in the field, 
cotton is harvested, cleaned, and spun into threads that weave the fabric of everyday life. These threads are dyed, shaped, and stitched into everything from soft t-shirts to durable jeans, cozy sheets, and even medical supplies. Along the way, cotton fibers undergo transformations that highlight their versatility and strength. By the time it reaches store shelves, cotton has traveled from farm to factory, carrying with it the effort of countless hands and the innovation of modern technology. Cotton is more than just a crop. It's a cornerstone of the U.S. agricultural economy. It contributes billions of dollars annually and supports hundreds of thousands of jobs, from farmers and ginners to textile workers and exporters. The U.S. is one of the world's largest exporters of cotton, supplying high-quality fibers to countries across the globe. Cotton has been woven into the fabric of American life, literally and figuratively. It's the material behind iconic blue jeans, soft t-shirts, and cozy bedsheets. Historically, it played a pivotal role in shaping the U.S. economy and society, particularly during the Industrial Revolution. Today, it continues to symbolize comfort, resilience, and sustainability. From the sun-drenched fields of the American South to the high-tech gins and textile mills, the journey of 3.6 million tons of cotton is a testament to human ingenuity, dedication, and the enduring appeal of this fluffy crop. Whether it's a soft t-shirt, a sturdy pair of jeans, or even a dollar bill, cotton touches every corner of our lives. So the next time you wrap yourself in a cozy cotton blanket or slip into your favorite shirt, take a moment to appreciate the journey of those fibers. Behind every thread is a story of hard work, innovation, and a little bit of fluff.